Cabaret premiered on Broadway in 1966. The original production led to a revival mm -hmm. and a few additional runs. All of that adds up to nearly 4,000 performances. But now, the musical masterpiece is on the road. It opened last night at the Orpheum. Yes, and you will see Mary Gordon Murray and Scott Robertson on the stage at the Orpheum. Thanks That's for getting right. up early this morning. Yeah. Guys. Good morning. We knew you had a great show last night. How was yeah. it? How was the crowd oh, last night? They were wonderful. They were wonderful. It was it was a lovely opening. Mm -hmm. it, was it really was. It really was. And, and it, it's a, it, it, and actually, that theater is so majestic. Yeah. It is. And uh, God, it was very gorgeous. intimate. There was a yeah. really intimate feeling. And, and it's kind of nice. You know, we we play a lot of these big sort of modern big spaces, big houses. This was like being in a theater, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it like is. On, on, on the Broadway, as <laughs> right. we say. Yeah. It's so good to hear you say that because you do. You see it all, and we're oh, so yeah. we're so proud of it. You know, yeah. you don't know if that's oh. just because it's home, the jewel right. box, or whether right. it's really mm -hmm. that special. Yeah. No, it really is that special. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I I wonder about the impact of this show because Mike said, I mean, decades into it now, how does it still have the kind of impact that it does? Boy, do you it think? really tells you a lot about. Oh these right. original creators and what they, you know, what they wrote mm -hmm. and what they were speaking to. And what's really amazing is all these years later, how profoundly relevant mm. this show still remains. Mm -hmm. we, we have a certain moment in the show. The two of you? <laughs> yes, uh -huh. that's, that sometimes people think has been written for like just because of this election and mm -hmm. it's from the original it's, it's piece. It's right out of the from, the some, from yeah. late 60s. Yeah. Let's talk yeah. about let's And they'll, talk start they'll start clapping. They'll start clapping because they're like, wow. oh, they must have they added that. Now. They're there for the yeah. show. Wow. Yeah. Can, like, no. can, can you set up, uh, what is this performance about? It was set in 1930s is really when this uh, Broadway show was, was, that it was written That's, for, right? It's, it's Weimar, Germany. It actually starts on That's New Year's correct. Eve, 1929. And um, it's really about the beginning of the, Nazi party mm -hmm. having their first stake in really having an effect. Um, it's based on the Berlin stories mm -hmm. by Christopher Isherwood, and mm -hmm. uh, it's had many manifestations. People are probably most familiar with the film mm -hmm. with Liza Minnelli, yeah. and this is quite different. This is still, um, and this is a revival that was created by Rob Marshall mm -hmm. and Sam Mendes. It's a multi Tony Award winning mm -hmm. um, production of it, and it's a very, very updated in the sense of its grittiness mm -hmm. yeah. and their really direct kind of interpretation of it. Um, it's it's pretty deep. Yeah, yeah one, is, one of the Tonys for deep. Best Revival. Best Revival. Yeah. Yeah. And, it is, and it is actually, it's, it's a thrilling production. Mm -hmm. yeah. You will never, honestly, you will never see dancing like this. Yeah. Uh -huh. And all of our actors all of the actors, except for four, now it's a cast of maybe 16, <laughs> us, <laughs> right? we're two of the four, all of them play musical instruments yeah, and do the show. Wow. So they yeah. come down, they're up above, then they run down spiral staircases, and the, and the dancing, the music, the costumes, everything about, I sound like those ads on, uh -huh. you know, yeah. the music, the costumes, I loved it. But it, but it really is, it really is, um, thrilling to watch. Mm -hmm. The audience is absolutely immersed in this story uh -huh. and it does have, it, uh, it has an incredible emotional impact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Beautifully directed by Sam Mendes. How yeah. does the audience affect you on stage, the sort of energy that they, they provide? How do you feed wow. from that night to night? Um, it's fascinating yeah. to go from city yeah. to city and see the differences. A big difference. You can feel yeah. we're in the Midwest. Uh, yeah. You can feel really? we're in the Midwest. You can. Well, you how really is that? How so? Is it more authentic or what? Pe uh, people are... Oh, I, should, I gotta no, be careful. Say it. Say it. Head. People are nice. You know, they're nice. Yeah. They're Midwestern people here. There's a, there's a certain decorum. So, like, last night we were feeling that kind of... You said it. You said, we're in the Midwest. It's like, it's they're, they're... But they're so attentive. Mm -hmm. I mean, the reaction... At the end was yeah. was incredible. The, the reaction was spectacular. Yeah, it was spectacular. Yeah. Well, I got but they're listening. They're listening. Yeah. You know, and and yeah. we've had actually what what has happened too is I think our last few cities we've had we've been on university sort of <laughs> university <laughs> jazz, and they're all like, ah, yeah. Yeah. you know, they're all like, woo, and so we we got a little used to that, right, and right. then we were coming in and everybody's like. No, I would say really, they're really about attentive. Attentive. we're very we're very present people. <laughs> Absolutely. Sort of like in that moment, we you you want to engage, whether it's at a show or one on one. That's I think right. that's it's how it's more like roll. at the end they explode. Uh huh. Do you know what like they've yeah. been listening and then they just explode? Oh, cool. Can you lay out a lot of tension? Yeah. 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 Sure. No, but can you lay out your your characters for us? The characters that you two play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, well, I play I play a wonderful fruit seller. I have a little fruit shop. Uh, I play Herr Schultz. And uh, I fall in love with mm -hmm. my landlady. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, she runs a boarding house, uh, Fräulein Schneider. 
And um, we all use a slight German accent mm -hmm. uh, in it, uh, but because we are all German, we just all use the accent. We don't. Uh, there, there are uh, some people that speak German mm -hmm. intimately uh, in small little bits in the piece. Is it but, tough to uh, do the accent? I mean, uh, yes, we we have a coach. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, yeah. when I got on, I have done I've done this production for over, almost 18 years oh. on and off. Wow! I did it for six years on Broadway. And uh, I took it over on Broadway, and then I, um, I, uh, mm -hmm. I've done this production sort of around the country a bit. And I hadn't done it for about five years, and then they, they called me once they more. They called you home. And they <laughs> called <laughs> you home. Can you yeah. give us a taste of your German accent? Fräulein Schneider, it is not always a good thing to settle for the lowest apples on the tree. <laughs> the one's easiest to reach. Climb up a little way. It is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dynamic between the two of you was described to us as very sweet. So oh. we, see, we see in the video like all of this sort of yes. like a bit of skin, some suggestive dancing, yeah, yeah. but the dynamic here is precious. And it's it's a it's a it's a you know there's part, parts of this that are very dark uh -huh. mm -hmm. and very real, yes. and then there's this love story and it's a surprise because the two leads are young. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Usually they are the ones with the love story, and they do have a love mm -hmm. story, mm -hmm. but the more linear, uh, the more kind of you can relate to it in a direct way is this older couple mm -hmm. and how the effect of what's going on around them impacts this really dear, tender, budding love story mm -hmm. and how it kind of, its impact. Mm -hmm. Is that I'll what you no hope people walk away from is the love story aspect of that or maybe the historical part of this? What, I think what, it's what? where it intersects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really yeah, the point. I think, yeah. and they're, they're actually, you know, there are basically there are two love stories yeah. in, in the piece and it's, and it's uh, it becomes deeply mm -hmm. moving, a little sad, uh, mm -hmm. but deeply moving. And but overall, it's thrilling, thrilling to watch. Shows tonight, tomorrow, it Friday, is. Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> to watch. You guys are going to be tired by the time the weekend's through. <laughs> yes. All at the Orpheum. Call to get your tickets or visit TicketOmaha.com. Thank you both so much for joining so us. Well. Thank you. Have a great time to meet you. What a Thank pleasure. You. Thanks. Thanks. Thank Happy you. to be here. Uh, guests of the morning blend.